This is Sims, and we are back with more Ayakashi Kyoku. And we are just starting Chapter 7, I think, um, of Akito's route. So we are on the second day of the music video shooting, as this says. So we're just going to go right into it. Today is the second day of the music video shooting. It was shooting for another song that's on the same album. From the time the sun starts to set, we'll continue from yesterday's shooting. I mean, I think he means starts to rise. You know? Anyway, this is going to be one of those chapters. <laughs> People were concerned about the fact that Akito and I hadn't returned until morning, but Keisuke already figured out where we were through his ability, and he said to other members and staff not to worry. Keisuke must be amazing, erasing memories and knowing the whereabouts of others. At the summer festival, Keisuke was the one to pick up Akito when he had his ears and tails. I like how they plural ears and tail. When I was pondering this, the other staff, waiting under a huge parasol, started to talk to me. They told me that the director was looking for me. I was worried that if he was calling the manager, it must mean that some trouble has happened. Director, I brought their manager. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I thought a girl like her would be suitable. What? I was stunned. The director turned me around for a better look. Yes, good. You'd only be shown from behind. Can you be in the music video? You just need to walk around with each member. Uh, kind of create a memorable scene. Huh? Me? I've never done any acting before. Uh, that's impossible. It's okay. You'll have hair and makeup done, and it's only going to be from the back. Well, the director's trying to convince me my hair is being done by the stylist. This is exactly what we read the last time. Even from the back, there might be a chance of the side of my face will be shown, so I also had some makeup done. I look like a different person. Professionals are amazing. Oh, like a different person. Isn't that something that's supposed to be said by someone else? While I was admiring myself in the mirror, Akito talked down to me disappointedly. Well, no, it looked different from how I usually do my makeup. It's completely different. The mascara gave me a bold look, but still natural. Also, the cheek colors matched really well with my skin tone. The makeup tool she was using was for a professional use, but to have this finishing touch depends on the skill of the makeup artist. That was just sounded so fucking bonkers weird. I was getting way too excited with the professional hair and makeup that I forgot why I went to the shooting. <laughs> if you get excited that much, then the makeup artist will be happy. Akito laughed at me, so I was a little embarrassed. If I get too excited, I'll be distracting from the shoot. I took a deep breath to calm down. Akito was looking at me adorably, and with a gentle smile, he reached out to me. Hey, I don't look weird. Although I was excited with hair and makeup, when it gets to the real shooting, I got nervous. Nah, you don't look weird. I'm telling you the truth, so just be confident. Akito grabbed my arms when I looked uncertain, even though we were in front of the camera. At least we're, we're not sitting in the giant bus. That looks awkward as fuck. <laughs> giant bus background. God. Shooting began with walking along the beach with Akito. It's the role of a woman walking while holding Akito's hand, so it's funny that they start with him. But there won't be any recording, so we're able to talk freely. I was way too nervous that I couldn't think of anything to say to him. I don't know what to talk about in a situation like this. Again, well, we would, did have to do him first. <laughs> um, when we were in Case Gay's route, right? So I guess it's probably the same order no matter whose route you're in. I don't remember back when we did it in Kosei's route, but... And the expressions were getting too stiff. So glad that only my back is showing. Think about something that relaxes you. Isn't there anything? Hmm. Oh, I know! I started humming the new songs that we were recording the music video for. It's got a sweet melody line that I like. As soon as I hummed, Akito was surprised. I felt lots better when I saw his soft expression. Hey, Akito! I became Foxier's fan without noticing. If I don't get brainwashed because of your singing voice, right? Then, if I like the song, it's for real. Okay, so I guess she wasn't trying to say, if I don't get brainwashed, it's, I don't get brainwashed because of your singing voices, right? Because of the Magatama. So, then, if I like the song, it's for real. It's better. I see. When I said that, Akito suddenly turned away. His ears are getting slightly red. And, like we said the last time, so it's like, did you ever get that creepy deja vu feeling? His ears are always red. Because <laughs> his fox ears are fucking red. <gasps> anyway. That's good. Who looks like a newly dating couple? Until the director started making a comment, I forgot that it was filming. <laughs> Whoops. I think I was too relaxed. The only problem with, like, like, when you do the other routes, like, 
I feel like even if the it, the scene's exactly the same, I didn't feel like when we did, but it was, I don't know. I just, maybe I just don't remember in Kasumi and Yuki, like doing the stuff in the, I thought it was slightly different. You know what I mean? The shooting scenes. This is exactly the same. It's literally, we took Keisuke's word for word and we just changed a couple of scenes here and there. Like, you know? I mean, it makes sense because we're doing the same shoot. And I don't remember Kosei's enough to say it's exactly the same. But, I don't know. So maybe Kosei's was exactly the same thing. But, I felt like, I don't know why I thought it was a little bit different. I mean, it was because we went into the, well, no, we went into the van with Yuki too, right? When, in his route, because I remember, or maybe that was Kasumi's. I don't remember, but I don't know. I thought those ones seemed different. This is like pretty much exactly the same. Maybe I'm just remembering it better. But you think like Yuki and Kasumi's routes we did back to back. So it would have been, I, I don't know. Anyway. After the shooting with Akito, the next segment is with Kasumi. Okay, with Kasumi, can you make a sandcastle together over there? Yeah, yeah, good, around there, it should be fine. To prevent myself from appearing on the camera, I had to sit very close to him. Do you feel less nervous now? Yes, I know Akito put a good word for me, but you know, I hope I'm not intruding on your music video. Like before, I was so glad they weren't, uh, there wouldn't be any recorded voice. Uh, don't worry, you look attractive anyway. What? What happened? You're turning red. I didn't know you would say something like that that easily. Really? I was just being honest. Even with the twins, their personalities are quite different. So fucking deja vu. Maybe the atmosphere is totally different, so they must be non-identical twins. They're both very good looking, but their faces aren't similar at all. When he gazes straight at me, it makes me embarrassed. Uh, wait. If you hit it that hard, it'll crumble. Oh no! Thoughtlessly, I put too much strength in on it and the sandcastle collapsed. And that's it. I got a good part. It was a good one. Now let's move on. Next is with Keisuke. I didn't think we were going to take a scene with you. Please don't pressure me. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're funny. When Keisuke laughed, it made me shyer. After all, compared to the others, he acts like an older brother. Not just because of his age, but his aura is really calm. In this way, sweetheart. His words are cheesy, but he wasn't too weird when he started talking. When he reached out to me, he started holding me like a princess. This is why we love him. Why can't we date him again? I know we already did, but... Huh? Oh no! When we started to lose balance, I started grabbing onto Keisuke's shoulder. Keisuke started laughing and brought me to the sea. Oh, it's cold! It's okay. Don't worry. I won't drop you. I'm trying to get the picture of a fun couple by the sea in that fucking getup. That's going to hold a lot of water. And in this way, it's unexpected by the fans, right? As Keisuke said, the director said the first take was good enough for the music video. Our boys are so fucking professional. They get it in like one shot. <sniffs> are you mad at me, Kosei? No, I'm not mad. What is this suddenly? Nothing. He knitted his brows. I didn't know what to say to appease him. Between the two of us, there's one glass for two people to share. Something really typical to see on the beach. Yeah, because see, at least in his scene, his, it was different. The shooting was different because we didn't have this. We walked with everyone on the beach, did whatever. He came up to us and did the fake kiss. So this wasn't, you know what I mean? So I don't think it was even the same scenes with the other people. I don't remember building a sandcastle. Even if we share the glass with a heart straw, with his expression, it'll look like a comedy, not a romance. <laughs> With a little uncertainty, I grabbed the straw stuck in the glass. I guess I just have to drink this naturally. Anyway, it must be troublesome for you. No, I'd share anything with you. Look at him. Look at look at the... He looks like he's angry. It's like angry and sex. God, I love him. I love him and Case Gaze so much. Huh? I'm sorry. I was just busy staring at your beautiful face. What? Were you talking? Also purple. Purple's favorite color. So, hot boy, favorite color. Hello? Not just only been assigned as a manager suddenly, but because you have the Megatama, and also being forced to be in her PV. Is he worrying about me? That was a bunch of random strung- I mean, you know what he was saying, but like, weird. Is that the reason he wrinkled his brow? 
I've noticed after I became their manager, Kose might like look blunt on his face, or might have a blunt expression, but he's the one who cares the most about the people around him. I know he's such a fucking marshmallow. No, I don't feel that right now. It's an unusual experience, so it's really fun for me. So please also smile naturally, Kose. As I said so, I tried picking up some grains of sand from his hair. Wh what is it? I didn't mean to, but I put my face close to him while taking off the sand. Kose, uh, Kosuke, Kose, started to blush and distance himself from me. Oh, that's good. It looks great. It's got the couple feel, couple-like feel. Apparently, the director was happy with the shot. The next scene is with Yuki. Like, we're doing it. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed. Here. Can you lie down over here? Oh, it's hot. I lay on my stomach, as Yuki said. Although there's a blanket, it's so hot that you can feel the temperature of the sand underneath. Are you all right? I'm sorry about the music video shooting. Yuki apologized, frowning. It's okay. Besides, when would I have an opportunity for me to use the... Uh, use this luxurious cream. The scene with Yuki is him putting sunscreen on my back. Oh, that's the sunscreen cream everyone's been talking about. Really? I'll ask if you can have it after the shooting. That's okay. I'd feel bad. It's okay. It's a small thank you for helping us on the shooting. When he gives a big smile like that, it's difficult to say no to him. I guess innocence is a weapon. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> you're tickling me. Yuki's hand applying cream on my back that's widely open. Well, I mean, on my naked back, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's what she means, like, exposed skin. It was tickling me, and I started laughing. When the director said okay soon after, we had the shot. When the director said okay soon after, we had the shot. Okay, anyway. We got a good job getting the shot. That's basically the point. Finally, the last scene. I'm done with this part. I sat down exhausted. Akito came over to me. Hey, in the last sunset scene, you'll be in it too. What? I thought this scene was just a back shot with only the members. Akito does his best for every kind of job. In order to make Akito's plan successful, there's only one thing I can do. You know what? It's actually my brother who suggested to the director to have a woman so that the fans can empathize better. Akito did what? He suggested this? He just wants me to be in it with him. <laughs> Kasumi nodded at me. It kind of messes me up when the names are spelled wrong or typed wrong, because I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, his name's not Kazumi? Right, holy crap. Of course, my brother always puts his best effort for his work, so I think he suggested to make this PV... I think he suggested it to make the PV better. Akito works for his, his best for all kinds of jobs. Okay, Akito does his best on all kinds of jobs. In order to make... Akito's plan successful. There's only one thing I can do. We said that early. Okay. All right. I'll do my best with all, with you all until the end. Okay. Whatever. Wow. This chapter's a pain. This one's. This one's kind of. The original layout was to have all five members having fun with their clothes on by the sea. That's reflecting the orange light from the sunset. Okay. Then can you please do the same as the members? As the staff instructed me, I felt uncomfortable. Hmm, I don't know much about it, but if I'm in this scene, what should I do to look natural with them? Um, I'm very sorry for an amateur like me to say this. Rather than joining them at the sea, wouldn't it be more natural to call them back to go home? During the time for the composition meeting, I tried giving my idea after thinking about my role. I see. So you're the place they're all going back to. Actually, that's a good idea. Um, I know it's not an extravagant idea, but... No, it's good. It's probably what the fans want to see. I mean, it's not... I think we said this in case case route. You know what I mean? Like, they're all playing by the sea, and then she's just waving them. Honey, come home. Oh, and they're running back. You're their plate. You're their home. Where they feel the most at home. You know what I mean? I can't where they're going for that. And you're like, oh, I could. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. If you're watching. Oh, my God. He's my favorite band member. Oh, my God. Right? Like, a girl playing at sea with all of them. Okay, fine. Oh, I could just pretend that's me. But, like, she's standing there calling them home, and then they're all. You could almost. You know what I mean? Like, you could. I just. Yeah, I get where they're going with that. It's just a bunch of people playing in the ocean. You're like, that's so cute. And then there's you standing there. Darling, come back to me. Come home, my love. <laughs> uh, look, if the translation wasn't terrible, it actually probably wouldn't be bad. But Since the director was happy with my idea, it was used for the shoot. As soon as I tried to go near the seaside, I heard the sound of stepping on the sand from behind. Okay. 
that is just that's like that's what I'm talking about. It's things like that. Like you clean that up and be like, you know, as I was going back, I heard someone, I heard footsteps in the sand behind me. Like you know what I mean? Or like you could word it slightly better. You get what they're saying, but it just sounds awkward. It was Akito who looked very upset and looked at me. What happened, Akito? Nothing. He turned around and started walking. What happened? What happened? The sound of the clapperboard was made without knowing the reason why Akito was upset. Wow, that's cold, Akito. What? Yuki, you aimed at my face. Akito, your back is defenseless. You youngsters are really energetic. Uh. Don't look away much. You're going to get attacked. Since their voices won't be recorded, they had fun splashing water onto each other. After a while, I'm supposed to enter the camera from out of the frame and walk towards them. Oh, no, you guys are all soaked. You know that you'll all be catching a cold if you stay like this. Hey, you there, come on. It's fun. Uh, don't get too serious, Kose. There, the sun's going down. Let's go home now. I called out to look like everyone's sister. I love that. I called out looking like their sister. That's not what the girls who are watching this. Like, oh, yeah, I want to be their sister. Like, I don't want to be their sister. Unless we're doing some kind of weird Alabama shit. I mean. Okay, let's go now, Akito. Everyone's coming out, kicking water up. They're going towards the cottage, passing me. When I called the other members, Akito, who was the last one to leave, passed by me and put his hand on my shoulder. Huh? What is it? As a reflex, I turned toward Akito. Akito's hair was illuminated by the sun. It made him even redder. He's beautiful. When I was gazing at Akito, I felt a gentle touch on my lips for a moment. Uh, what? I had no doubt that Akito's lips were touching mine. I didn't have such instructions from the director. Oh. Oh, shut up. Don't whine at me. I'm the one who wanted the... Who wants to... Do, oh, I'm the one who wants to do this. I get really irritated when you smile at the other guys. Huh? I was so confused that I couldn't say anything back to him. When Akito started kissing me all of a sudden... Oh, um, shooting! Akito, quick, go back with everyone! I pushed Akito's back and the scene was fading out as we went out of the frame. We were able to take a scene with a bunch of young people having fun. Oh, you know they got a nice little kiss in there too, like, just kisses you. And then everyone else is like told you who had bets on this <laughs> like who had june who had june <laughs> like taking bets on what month he'd finally confess we finished the music video shooting today everyone has other recording to do from tomorrow starting tomorrow morning so we're going to stay for another night and leave it was really okay right i'd be regretting it if i became the one causing the scandal i said i'd protect fox here i kept on checking with akito so many times to make sure all the members watched the video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch the video while I was taking off the makeup and getting changed. I told you, it wasn't filmed. It'll be sent by the day after tomorrow, so check it yourself. Phew, I'm glad it wasn't filmed. And... Even so... Wait, can we just... We just glossed over that. She's like, oh my god, you kissed me. What the fuck? Oh my god, we're gonna get... There's gonna be a skin. He's like, nobody filmed it. And you were like... Okay, but... Then that begs the important question that she's not thinking of. When he did that, you were like, um, you kissed me for the music video, right? Yeah, no, you obviously, I mean, obviously no, but sh that's probably what she's thinking. It's not on film, so you're not gonna, you're just gonna gloss over the fact that he kissed you and he's obviously into you, and you're not gonna bring that up and be like, um, like, when Kosei kissed us in the music video, we were like, uh, what? And he's like, did it look like I was kissing her? Okay, great! And you were like, what? But that was just for the, but, but you, what the? You know what I mean? But now he's totally like, this wasn't even on film, we're fine. And she's like, okay, but if it wasn't on film, I'm just saying, we're going to gloss over this? Anyway. Akita became irritated again when I dropped myself down on the floor with relief. What's that attitude mean? You hated my kiss that much? I didn't say that. Of course not. No comment. <laughs> I think we're supposed to say I didn't say that. Okay, yeah, sorry. I never said that. I didn't know what to say. I didn't think he was going to ask me that question. Everyone else is sitting in the living room like, we're all still here, right? They know that, right? Seems. Then what is it? Well, I was worried maybe this is what Pyros would want to have if Akito or one of the others have had a... Oh. 
I was worried that maybe this is what Pyros would want if you or one of the others had a scandal. Having a girlfriend is a I'm Different cultures. I get it. Like, frickin' A. We're used to, like, I'm totally in love with so-and-so. He's my favorite. Band member, musician, poet, fucking movie star, whatever. Pick a fucking celebrity or whatever that you're in love with, right? We all have our little fangirl crushes. But, like, when they date someone, you're like, oh, whatever. I'm cuter than she is. Oh. <laughs> but you're not like, you're like, oh, well, I mean, like, look, I may sit there and say, I'm going to marry Tom Hiddleston someday, bitches. <laughs> He's my British husband, okay? But, like, I'm never going to meet that man. And, like, someday he's going to get married. I'm going to be like, I'm so jealous. But, like, I knew it was going to happen. Like, like whatever. But, like, fans of Japan get, like, crazy. Like, like you have to hide that you're married. You can't date. The fans will go ballistic. Um, you don't own them. Look, it's weird because in America we stalk our celebrities. Like, fucking Britney Spears can't, like, go get her mail without people like, Oh my god, look at her. She's wearing fucking sweatpants. She looks like a hobo. We all look like hobos, motherfucker. That's exactly how you dress when you're at home. And you're going to get your fucking mail. You don't put on a goddamn ball gown. Leave the bitch alone. <laughs> I'm like, leave Britney alone. Like, seriously? Like, they make fun of everybody? Fucking, like... Just Western culture in general. Daniel Radcliffe have wore the same fucking outfit for like a fucking year to like fuck with paparazzi. Like, hello! Like, we stalk our celebrities. We're crazy psychopaths. But like, it's not like, shh, sh 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 don't ever tell anyone that you're dating because the fans will go crazy and then they'll hate you. We know that our celebrities get married. Are you kidding me? Half the time it's like, who's she dating this week? Okay, whatever. How many boyfriends has Taylor Swift had this month? Six? Oh, whatever. She's gone downhill. She used to have seven or eight in a month. She's slacking. Like, we know this shit. Like, we don't. But, like, in this, Akito kissing a girl. <gasps> That's it. We can't be members. We can't be fans anymore. It's like, just, I mean, he's a human being. He's not a puppet. Like, it's just weird. It's weird is all I'm saying. Coming from a culture. Hello. Western culture that stalks celebrities, like like literally, paparazzi's like in the bushes taking photos of them, like peeping through their windows and shit. We crazy, but we ain't that crazy. <laughs> like, holy shit! Like, what is it? Let, let the man have a girlfriend. It's fine. It's okay. You're not gonna die. It's okay because you can just secretly be like, it's okay. Someday they'll break up and I'll marry him. It's fine. Like that's that's how you do it if you're normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll just be a second wife. Whatever! <laughs> like, you can live in your deluded fantasy land still. You know what I mean? It's like, if your imagination is that shitty, that like, he got a girlfriend, now I can never imagine just that they're gonna break up and someday I'll marry him. Like, that's sad for you. I feel sad for you. Like, get a better imagination. Like... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, when I said that, Akito sighed. Look, they do work as a professional. I do understand how I should behave. I wouldn't destroy my career by having an impulsive behavior. So just relax. Because <laughs> it's impulsive to... You just kiss someone and... Oh my god! Oh, scandalous! Oh my god, he held her hand! What a whore! <laughs> it's just so funny. It's like so, like... So awkwardly funny. Anyway. Huh. Impulsive behavior. Akito tapped my head lightly when I was confused. That was the words he leaked without... That was the words he said without thinking much. Is that... That light-hearted something in my heart. There was a nice breeze coming from the cottage window, but I wasn't able to sleep much. So, I mean, that was him. Like, I didn't just do it impulsively. And she's like, you didn't do it impulsively? Because, I mean, again, think about that. Like... You know what, I just, it was a spur of the moment, I just kissed you. Just, I don't know why. And then maybe later you're like, mm, that was a bad idea. But he's basically like, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I did the flow charts. I did an analysis. I have a 13-page paper with documented footnotes on exactly why I'm okay to, and then th that's why I did this. Like, okay. You really put some analysis and effort into it, I guess. It was a summer day with less sunlight. I was going through a quiet residential area. I'm sure it's this way. 
I hope he's up by now. Again, she's like acting like, I hope it's this way. You've been to his house before. When to his bedroom. Uh, please sit around there. I'll wake my brother up now. Well, that's good to know. Akito, uh, Akito wakes up with a temper, right? I started recalling about how I was dragged in bed, and I was getting embarrassed. Yeah, now she's like, no, I wouldn't mind so much, but... Well, there are some easy ways to wake him up. Throwing a bucket of water on him. There's an easy way to wake him up? Kasumi put in a bitter smile when I almost jumped to hear about it. It's a song of Kappa. There was a, a horrific story... Wait, there was a horrific story, the story of Kappa, in one of the scrolls he read when he was little. Apparently it traumatized him. <laughs> He's traumatized by Kappa? Isn't Kappa a sort of creatures like you guys? No way. As you know, Kappa is a legendary creature. Of course, we're foxes, and you know it exists as an animal. When he explained, I can understand. I don't. Raccoons, rats, cats, all of them exist as an animal. That is fucking bullshit. Fucking cats aren't real. <laughs> I know what they're trying to say, but it's like, yeah, we know. Y human animal creatures. Okay, there you go. Well, that's educational for me. <laughs> As you know, rats, cats, and raccoons are actual creatures. <gasps> like the human creature, human animal creature. No, no, no. Like raccoons are actual, real, living, breathing animals. <laughs> Fuck you. That's bullshit. <sighs> Next you're gonna tell me unicorns aren't real. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like, hey. This game gets weirder as it goes. Anyway. In that moment, I heard a noise from behind. When I looked back, there was Akito glaring at us. Hmm. Akito, you woke up! When I looked at Akito in an unexpected mood, he was scratching his head looking messy. Well, yeah, he just rolled out of bed. If you talk Kappa Kappa multiple times, of course I'll be up. Akito started complaining about being alone, but Kasumi is putting a grin on his face. It's a typical conversation that siblings would have. Sure. Even Akito was afraid of Kappa. Will it be Kappa? Kappa? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, what was... What was written in that scroll? Akito started to take off the clothing. Whoa! Started taking off his clothes. Hello! I'm sitting right here. Wait, never mind. Shh. I'm not sitting here. His skin was exposed uh, to the sunlight that was passing through the curtains had beautiful and transparent. Okay, wait. His skin was exposed to the sunlight passed through the curtain had beautiful and transparent. <laughs> you figure that one out. I remember, Pyro said since foxes are getting weaker, there won't be many newborn foxes anymore. I thought their skin was really pale be because they were in a visual K band, but I guess they're born with it. They have glowing, dewy, pale skin. That's basically what it's trying to say. Like, it's a rude game. When I gazed at Akito's back while he was changing, felt like someone was watching me. What's going on? You've been watching my brother for a while now. Because he's gloriously beautiful and half-naked, standing in the glittering sunlight. Why are you not looking? <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Nothing? Really? I was thinking on my own for a while, when Kasumi interrupted me all of a sudden, and I started to act suspiciously. He's like, like you've never seen a naked man before? I mean, probably not, in this sense. <laughs> I understand completely. You were thinking about the future of our family and foxes, aren't you? You fucking mind reader, because that is the weirdest thing to assume I'm thinking when your brother is standing half naked glistening in front of a window. He might as well be a glittery fucking vampire. Like, let's sh he might as well be glittery. If he were glittery, I couldn't stare harder. What the fuck? You're thinking about the future of the foxes. Yes, I absolutely was not just admiring your half naked brother. That's... Yes, thinking about the fox future. Absolutely. I mean, she was, but let's be real. What? When Kasumi spoke to me, it felt like he was reading my mind. Glad that he wasn't actually reading all of it, because he would have heard all the dirty thoughts I was thinking, but... Yeah, but your family and foxes aren't really disappearing, are you? I asked in a small voice so that Akito couldn't hear. Yes, but when I was little, I was sick all the time. And my brother wasn't that healthy either. From now on, there'll be more chances to have kids like me... Uh, when I was little. Oh, hold on, I guess he's... When I muttered, Akito put something on my head. Ow! What was that? If you have time to talk nonsense, cut this in pieces. Is it 
watermelon. You put a watermelon on my head? Or th watermelons in Japan are really small? Because, like, I'm thinking of, like, an American watermelon. And, like, fuck, that would break my neck. That shit's huge. When I looked up, I saw green and black stripes and felt heavy on my head. Brought their well manner, I brought the watermelon to the kitchen as Akito as Akito instructed. Where the fuck was he hiding that watermelon? On the table with his coke and his fucking his empty cans and his fucking bag of chips. I like how it's just messy on the table. Everyone else is like perfect and pristine, and he's got like just shit everywhere. That's shit everywhere. That's neater than my apartment, but still. When I cut the watermelon and came back, Akito and Kasumi were looking at the paper with expressions of worry. There. Speaking of watermelons. We should have done Suikawari? Su Suikawari? The game of smashing a watermelon with a stick whilst wearing a blindfold. So like a fucking pinata, but like it's a watermelon. Awesome. When I said so casually, Kasumi suddenly raised his head. Suikawari. Oh, that's right. Suikawari. Su Suikawari. Not pronouncing that properly, but I mean... I guess that's what they normally do when you go on a date over the summer. Huh? Well, it's more common to play with friends rather than a date. You guys never did it before? Oh, we've never done that. We don't have friends. This time, uh, for the first time, we're making a ballad love song. I heard about this from my cousin. To make lyrics, there are many people coming in and out to work at the office. That's why they decided to work at Akito's apartment today. Hmm. Oh, hmm. We don't have any experience thinking about someone else. So it's difficult to imagine. Wow, that sounds selfish. We don't have experience thinking of other people. I mean, I guess what they're saying, like, we don't have experience, like, thinking of someone that we're in love with. But it's just the way he phrased it. Selfish much? Think about how much you love each other as friends and then just spice it up a little bit. I stopped picking out the watermelon seeds when I heard Kasumi speak. You've never been in love before? Well, then the Fox Village and Human Realms, there'll be women approaching us. And the way my brother worded that sounded harsh, but there is some truth to it. Both in our village are here, instead of us liking women. Dot, dot, dot. There are more chances that others are coming over to us because of our appearance. So, is that why you don't like them at all? I looked over to Kido. That's the reason. Maybe the kiss was just him being spontaneous and silly. Perhaps... So no one would notice my heart hurting. I grabbed the Makatama for comfort. And that's not true. I also learned from the scrolls in our house storage that our ancestor and the person who sealed him with the Makatama were lovers. Lovers? I heard that my ancestors betrayed Akito's ancestors and sealed him. But I've never heard that they were in love. See, he knows! <laughs> Although it was tragic love, and they secretly adored each other. Tragic love... If there really was such a past between creatures and human beings, I remembered all of a sudden about the white fox that I'd seen in my dream. Maybe that white fox with a gentle voice. When I was indulging in thought, Akito was tut-tutting. Akito, if our manager is the descendant of that yin-yang master, then I don't think she was a bad person. Well, the ancestor is an ancestor. She's different than her ancestors. Isn't that what you were saying? You're contradicting yourself. Well... You think that too, right? What? I don't remember saying that. I was getting confused with Akito and Kasumi's conversation. You and me both, sister. I really want to help Akito and the others. But if the Magatama isn't cooperating, then there must be something missing. While I was thinking about that, their conversation was over. They started to write the lyrics, but they had trouble, troubled expressions on their faces. It didn't seem like they had any luck finishing at all. Well, even if you guys stay in the house for a long time, it might be difficult to write lyrics. Do you want to go out somewhere to refresh your mind? As soon as I said this, they stopped the they stopped the pen, and both Akino and Kasumi raised their faces. Do you have anywhere in mind? Is there any way you think we'll be in anywhere you think we'll be inspired by? A park. That's what we're supposed to say, bitches. Walking around the park? There should be many couples in the park. Both of them raised their eyebrows. Maybe it wasn't a very good idea? Well, if they go to the park, they have to disguise themselves. Maybe they might look suspicious. Oh, what about the aquarium? Maybe there are many couples going there too, so you might find some ideas through their conversations. I thought it was a good idea, but Akito wasn't too happy either. We went there with Kasumi though on a date. I sighed deeply when I thought even an aquarium wasn't a good idea. 
Kasumi looked up from watching the screen of the mobile, I'm assuming his phone. The aquarium. I've never been there before. Wish I could visit someday. Oh, well. Huh. Someday? Not today, bitch. We're not in your path, so you're never going to go. Unfortunately, I just received a message about a change in my meeting time. I'm going to head to the studio now. Oh, I see. I want to, but have fun. Have fun with my brother. Hey. I never said I'd go with you. First of all, I don't have any time even for writing lyrics. I thought that it was a good idea, but if there wasn't... If there was other work that came in, then I can't do much. Okay, so that, like, made no sense. I want to, but have fun. Like, I'd like to go with you, but have fun. Okay, stay here and work with my brother. I can't go with you. I can't even have time to write lyrics. Can't, well, nobody asked you to go with us. What? <laughs> that make any sense. There was, like, a bunch of conversations happening there that didn't mesh up together, but all right. Well, anyway. <laughs> when I sent out Kasumi, I went to the kitchen to make tea for Akito. Making lyrics seems to be really hard. Akito is a troubled expression, still sat in front of the paper. It's hard to verbalize my own feelings. It would be even harder to think about someone else's feelings and make a song about them. I should just concentrate on my own job quietly so that I won't disturb him. I checked the documents for the contract and managing the schedule for the concerts. Seems like Akito is concentrating on lyrics. We had some time concentrating. Hey! Hey! You can't hear me! Huh? Apparently, I was called several times, but I didn't notice at all. There was way too much time spent filming in the week after, so I was thinking of how to make an adjustment in our schedule. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want more tea? Yes, he's... Sorry. Yeah, the place you mentioned a while ago. I thought I should go there. A little while ago? I wasn't sure what Akito was saying in the beginning. Oh, you mean the aquarium? Akito clapped a hand, saying that's it. Like, he's never heard of an aquarium before? Like, what the fuck? I was so surprised that Akito was so frustrated and stuck with writing the lyrics. Yeah, sure. I haven't been there for a long time. It'll be fun. But Kasumi's gonna cry. You... You went without me? But I... You know how much I wanted to go. And you just... You went without me. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? <laughs> I put away the schedule book and prepared for leaving immediately. I can't believe them. The aquarium we visited hadn't changed, uh, oh, had changed to a much more open space than the time I visited when I was small. Yeah, and now we're in a fucking, like, tube under the scary-ass fish. But, like, fucking tube through the aquarium. Like, that's fucking awesome. I want to go into an aquarium like this. Like, normally you're like, yeah, it looks nice, and I get to look in the tank. I want to be in the fucking tank. Like, that is, like, I don't, like, walk through, ooh, I, I want to literally be in the fucking fish tank with the fucking fish basically what you are you just don't have to actually like snorkel and like the only risk is that thing cracking and you drowning and shit which like whatever <laughs> anyway oh wow look at keto there's a huge tank in the middle i talk with a happy voice it's dark inside the aquarium so akito wouldn't be exposed to the public much anyway looks like there's some whale sharks can you see as i was looking through the window of the tank akito appeared at my side it's probably like this under the sea isn't it breathtaking? Yeah. Well, I never had many experiences with the sea because the fox villages in the mountains. Hey, there's a flatfish. It's a flounder. You've seen pictures or videos before, right? When I was talking, Akito suddenly took my arm. What? Akito? The place where Akito dragged me to was in front of the penguin tank. He looked very excited watching the penguins. I mean, they're fucking penguins. How could you not be excited? I think the universal truth is like, no matter what, you're like, oh, this is my favorite animal. If you were at an aquarium and they have penguins, you're like, oh, penguins. Penguins are kind of low-key exciting. Like, a penguin is not my favorite animal. Like, at all. But, like, if you are at a fucking aquarium, you're going to get excited to see the fucking penguins. Right? If you're a little low-key excited, like, oh, I want to see the penguins. Just saying. Same with turtles. Like, sea turtles, you're like, oh, look at the sea flap flaps. <laughs> Oh, no, those are stingrays. But anyway. Those two! Like, I don't... Like, oh, pretty fish! Penguins! Look! The way the penguin swims looks like a fish. Yeah. Oh, there's also the baby penguin. Probably it's a newborn. So cute. I... Again. Uh, baby fucking penguins? Fuck that. Baby animals? Baby anythings? Fuck yeah. Except for humans. Baby humans are like, yeah. But, like, baby animals? Fucking cute. 
baby birds are ugly as shit, but like cute and ugly kind of way because they have no feathers. They look creepy. Anyway, we were supposed to watch couples and feel the atmosphere of a couple in love to help create lyrics for the ballad, but instead, Akito was just enjoying himself. He's looking at penguins. Yeah. The way he was behaving was adorable and cute. Well, if I said that to him, he's definitely going to be mad. I couldn't stop myself. I pulled Akito's hand and headed towards the corner, illuminated with a blue pale light. Wow, so beautiful. Doesn't it make you feel peaceful? I tried to describe my feelings, but it seemed like Akito had trouble empathizing with me. Nevertheless, Akito watched the jellyfish with me. Also, yeah, jellyfish tank, you're like, oh, it's like a living lava lamp. It makes me feel an inner peace. Oh, people and foxes. All women love those things, don't you? Even in our village, there are lots of females buying healing goods that appear in human magazines. While explaining, Akito had such a look of disdain. I guess he doesn't think kindly about those kinds of things. Look, honey, you need to get a good candle and a fucking lava lamp and, like, just low-key... You, you just need to learn how to relax, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna get you a bath bomb from Lush. Just fucking anywhere. And we're gonna get you into a nice warm bath, throw that bath bomb in with some bubbles, maybe a glass of wine. Be good. Would you prefer beer? That's fine. We'll get you a beer. It's okay. You can have a bath beer. Okay. It's okay. You want a scotch on the rocks? You can have a bath scotch on the rocks. It's cool. Whatever you want to drink in the bath, you drink in the bath. Unless it's like warm milk. That's just fucking weird. Don't do that. Don't drink milk in the bath. Oh, I gotta sneeze again. You guys decided to start a band after you saw them in magazines and on TV. Well, that's right. Seemed like the easiest way to spread our feelings. All the creatures are fighting against each other to claim territory. Also, I know that Akito's songs are really difficult, so his feelings must also be complicated and mysterious. Uh, for a very long time, in the realm of the creature, the fox has been the one to rule since the Heian period. Heian period from 794 to 1185 AD. Heian period. That's a period of time when the Ying Yang Master and the foxes were alive in my dream. I can't- that's seven, yeah, that's like almost the last fucking years. <laughs> Akito explains disinterestedly while watching the jellyfish swing in the water. Like the end of it, anyway. <laughs> you guys don't know anything. You humans live peacefully until now because we were ruling and controlling fools like the raccoon and, and the others. And others and made sure they didn't do anything stupid. Oh, I see. I don't know what to say. It feels strange to say thank you. When I was thinking about the correct response, we heard the children cheering in the distance. There's dolphin! It's amazing! Looking back towards the cheery voices, the dolphin show is just starting the pool at the back of the aquarium. There's a dolphin jumping! Oh, that's amazing! Can we watch? I dragged Akito by the arm and headed to the audience seats for the show. <laughs> oh, look at his little face! <laughs> I love how she's looking at him like, <laughs> You like the fucking dolphins! There's three dolphins going around in parallel with the whistle from the keeper as a signal. With the second whistle, they turn twice in the water and increase their speed, jumping triumphantly from the water and into the air. Wow! As I applauded, I glanced at Akito. He was watching the dolphins with his eyes open wide. Isn't it amazing? Oh, uh, look at his face! It's adorable! Why are you being so proud of them? You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo! Akita gave a bitter smile and looked at me. No, I mean, it's good that you're having fun. When I answered honestly, Akito looked away suddenly. What's wrong? When I looked carefully, Akito's ears seemed like they were turning red. <laughs> it's a little hot in here. I'll get you some drinks then. What? No, it's not like that. Whatever. Well, that sounds like you. Just wait there a minute. Akito left abruptly to go to the shop by himself, like during the festival. He's like, no! I get you drinks. That's how, that's how it works on a date. And you're like, are we on a date? No! Shut up! You're stupid. You're weird. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Akito brought me a drink and a straw with a dolphin mascot. A blue dolphin for Akito and a pink one for me. I took the drink that he gave me. He just wanted a fucking dolphin straw. <laughs> you know, it's one of those like cool plastic straws that like... Oh, man... They were the shit for the longest time. Like, they had, like, shapes in them. 
Man, no, they don't make those anymore, do they? They'd probably be hard to find. <laughs> Actually, now they'll probably be making a comeback because they're not allowed to have plastic straws anymore because those are all banned and shit. So, like, he used to get the fun plastic cocktail straws with, like, all the fun fucking shit on them. Like, look, these ones have, like, glitter on them. There's a butter one. And, like, all the fancy-ass fucking straws. They were, like, the party straws, you know? Oh, my God, they're plastic. We can't have them. All the other straws that I use every day are plastic, too, by the way. They're just not disposable. They're like, you wash them and reuse them. Now we have to have stainless steel straws. Guess what? I still have plastic straws. Like, but I want those fun plastic straws that we used to have back in the day that would, like, literally have shapes. They were, like, the swizzle straws. Like, the swirly straws. Wow, God, what did we actually call it? I don't know. But, like, if it was a dolphin shape, like, the straw, you'd the liquid would come up. And then it would swirl around in the little shape of the dolphin and then go back. Like, the straw itself was the shape. <laughs> like, oh my god, I want those straws again, man. This just made me think of those. That was like fucking forever. That was like 100 years ago. Okay. There are probably people who are like, what are you talking about? Oh, you're missing out on the good old days of fucking straws. I'm not talking about like there's like a little straw topper, like a little thing on there that you could take off. I'm talking about the straw was shaped like that. <laughs> like... Like, shaped like a heart. Like, oh my god, I need these. I need to find these fucking shaped straws now. We used to have them, tons of them. But then, like, you got to the point where you were like, I can't, I'm not gonna drink it out of a straw. I'm not a little kid anymore. And now you're like, fuck it, straws are awesome. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna drink out of fucking straw. It's easier. The ice doesn't smack me in the nose when I'm drinking and it gets all stuck at the bottom and then you're trying to get your <laughs> nose ice. No. And then you get that splash and you're like, right now I'm wearing my drink. <laughs> Plus, I drink it out of a giant fucking, like, turfus type cup so straws are nice those ones would not reach in that far but anyway <sighs> i'm sorry i'm just really excited about fucking straws now simple things make me happy thank you it's really cute came along with the stuff i bought i'll bring it home as a memento i feel somehow happy and smiled when akito saw that he turned his face away what happened to him i hope he's enjoying himself i don't know whether the experience at the aquarium is something that's useful for a songwriting but for me, it was a fun time that I had with Akito. <laughs> Although it's not as incredible as the one I watched at the beach, it's a beautiful sunset today, too. Oh, by the beach. It was so interesting. There's so many living things. You know, not just humans and creatures like me. There's so many souls in this world. Akito? When I looked into Akito's eyes, he shook his head and said it's nothing. I also felt a warmth spread gently into my heart. I was happy to feel that alongside him. Be happy if Akito felt something in his own way, too. A long shadow moved back and forth slowly while we were walking together. Um, well, thank you for today. When Akito said that... Oh, Akito? It was Kasumi walking from the other side. He just finished his meeting. Oh, you guys went to the aquarium. You didn't... Oh, <laughs> they said I've always wanted to go. It was a dream of mine. Can we... Can we go some... Not with you. Oh, okay. That's... <laughs> Did you bring me a... Bring me a souvenir at least? No? no nothing? Not a, oh, but you're going to graphically describe the dolphin show and the penguins that I didn't get to see and it's always been my dream to go. You went without me. Okay. <laughs> Such a dick move, though. He probably noticed because of the dolphin mascot on my bag. Um, yeah. Well, you know, she kept on saying she wanted to go, so I helped. Akito started to interrupt Kasumi and talk. But it was a good relaxing time, right? It to refresh your mind. Without me, I've always wanted to go. Well, I wanted to concentrate on songwriting, but I was out until this time. What? Hey, Akito, you don't have to be that embarrassed about going to the aquarium without me. You know, because I was. <laughs> you know, that's what he's thinking. If he hadn't said it, if he had just been like, oh, yeah, the aquarium, you know? But he said, like, oh, I've always wanted to go, and then we fucking go without him. Like, that is such a dick move. I said she was annoying. Oh, God. This isn't in here. Oh, God. Why don't you eat a little bit? Calm down. This one. It was fun. This choice isn't in here. This choice isn't in the guide! Ah, fuck it! 
Crap, we can't go back. I can't go back. Ah, fuck. What if I just totally mess this choice up and we only get the normal ending now? Because we can't go back. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Oh, God, I can't go back. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Shit, we're fucked. No, I can't. I don't know how to go back. Can I go back? Can I go back? <laughs> I need to go back! <sighs> Alright, well, we fucked that one up. That one wasn't in the guide, guys! I don't know! If we fuck up this whole thing because of that one choice, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. But anyway. Um, I enjoyed it very much. I thank you for coming with me today. I tried to smile when I said that, but I must have looked very awkward. I had no choice but to leave. A dolphin mascot could be seen shaking sadly on my bag as I walked very lonely with the sunset dying in the sky, di uh, drowning everything in red. I fucked that up. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm like, where is that choice? It wasn't in here. Oh, God. Well, that was a long-ass chapter. Anyway. Approaching the end of summer, the, s the sky like autumn, I walked while looking up at the cloud-shaped scale. What? Anyway. Maybe it's just how I feel. There's a cloud that's floating lonely up in this lonely, lone lily, lone lily up in this, lonely up in the sky, lone lily. No, I shouldn't be sulking right now. I went inside the studio with water, lemon water with honey, tea, and sandwiches. This game has to keep talking about food because I'm fucking hungry. No, that's wrong. That lower note should last longer. And then it changes the impression of the song. I told you the concept was heart wrenching. But not too sulky. Recently, your song arrangement is mainly focused on minor code, Akito. If your mind is too busy, you only create music that's muffled. Isn't that right, Akito? You shouldn't only stay in the studio and have, you should have a bit of a break in between. Well, I don't have time for that. That's why I'm being stuck over here. Can't even find Keisuke. Where did he go when he's necessary? Where does he go when we need him? That's basically. From the other side of the door, I can already hear Akito having an argument with the other members. I knocked on the door and entered. Good morning. Um, I got you some lunch. When I entered the studio, Akita moved his eyes away from me. After returning from the aquarium, since I left early, it feels really awkward with him. Also, the new song was the trouble that everyone, inc including Akito, stayed in the studio from... Okay. Also, the new song was giving them so much trouble that everyone, including Akito, stayed in the stu studio for multiple days. That makes more sense. Probably everyone's even more frustrated because they're rushing. Even though I understood why they were acting this way, I can't find a good way to make the situation better. Thank you! Oh! I like that spicy sandwich! Hey, Akito, you see? Yuki started jumping over to me and looked into the food I brought. I didn't get love points for I had fun! I'm so... <laughs> Akito, why don't you eat a little bit? Even when I asked him, Akito doesn't look at me. He's just writing down and working on the songs without looking away. Kido isn't having a meal for once or twice a day these days. He's devoted to the songwriting and arrangement. He's basically skipping meals. Okay. Rather than being enthusiastic, it was more like being rushed to work on it. Oh, look, Kido, she was being thoughtful and brought something that you can eat in one hand. At least eat some and work. Yeah! This roasted beef has some spice on it, too! <laughs> I really want to recommend this. Really, you guys? Maybe you don't understand this. There's no time, and the melody isn't like a ballad at all. Akito kicked the chair with anger. And then I'll ask you, what is a ballad? Er, it's like a love song with some sentimental lyrics. It's the type of song that we don't have much of. Yeah, but you can't let others say they can only play rock music. Ballads aren't a different, a different challenge, but it's not for them. Ballads are a different challenge, but it's not for them. Okay. I guess what he's trying to say is you can't other we don't want other people saying that we can only play rock music. Ballads are a challenge, but it's not a challenge for everybody else. You know what I mean? He's like, "We don't want people saying that we we can't write ballads even though it's challenging for us and not for them." What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> I felt something strange about how Akito responded. It's weird. He never used to think about how others would evaluate him. He's stubborn about his own songs that he likes, and he doesn't compromise with others for his ideal songs. What happened to you, Akito? You never used to have this attitude before. If you keep on doing this, it's not going to be your song anymore. I guess Kasumi also realized that Akito's behaving strangely. 
Akito's biting his teeth. Clenching his teeth. Okay. Well then, you should do the songs and also be the chief. Akito! What? You know what? That's not fair. You didn't take me to the fucking aquarium. God. Get a grip. Looking at Akito's trembling fist, I can tell that he's not thinking such a thing. Hurts me to even watch him saying it. Simmer! Calm the fuck down! Never in the history of calm down has anyone ever actually... Has it worked? Somebody, like, calm down. Oh, okay. You know what? It's a good idea. We missed one. Oh, yeah. Wasn't another guy. Akito, calm down. A ballad is important, but you don't have to push yourself that much. Isn't there any other way? I couldn't keep my mouth shut when I saw Akito suffering. Akito didn't even react to my words until now, and he started to look at me slowly and carefully. Recently, there were ballads that weren't too slow. You know the rhythm of the drums are a medium tempo throughout the song. Also, there are songs that are classified as a ballad. If you... If you... Ha if you, the songs are quiet, well, something about, whatever, songs being quiet and having a sentimental melody and lyrics. With what I said, Akito started to think again without putting, with putting hands on his chin, uh, put his hands on his chin and was thinking, okay, whatever. Each one of the members have their own jobs today. If they're shooting today, Akito might have gotten a bit of a break, but he wrote on the whiteboard that he'll be working on lyrics. I was meant to stay with him, but his attitude was refusing. I was filled with sadness when he was having his attitude of pushing me away from him. Akito, I'm not going to disturb you, so I can stay here and finish off the office work. So can I stay here? Finish off, okay. As I, was nerv as I nervously said so, Akito looked up suddenly. No, oh, no, I didn't say you were in the way. Oh? Akito stood, but immediately... and pulled my arms. <sniffs> wow. I bumped into the garbage can and Akito caught me when I, started, when I start falling. This just jumped a few tracks, and we were on a train, and now we're on a fucking space rocket. Floating around Neptune. I don't know what the fuck happened, but okay. You know I'm not good at communication. I felt goosebumps when he talked with a voice in a... When he spoke with a desperate voice. It wasn't a bad kind of feeling. I don't know. I just felt my pulse rate was rising. Well, I know that, but... My heartbeat was louder... Then I don't know whether... And I don't know whether my voice was trembling or not. Okay. Then, you know... About what? When I asked him, Akito was frustrated. And he took something out of his pocket. Your phone? Akito started shaking his mobile phone in front of me. He was meant to show the blue dolphin. Oh, that... That's the dolphin mascot he got at the aquarium. It was on the straw. Yes, yeah, see, so it's like a little... Thing on a straw that you can take off. That's not the kind of straws I'm talking about, man. The shape was the straw. I'm sorry. He mumbled into my ear. I don't know why, but it was funny to me somehow. So, it didn't become a good reference for the ballad after all. Akito shook his head when I said that. After all, I don't think I'm able to understand that sentimental feel feeling. That's not true. Even now, Akito has a very troubled face. It means that there's something that he wants to protect. Right now, you want to protect Foxier. So isn't that why you're rushing? Isn't it? My words made him feel uncomfortable. So uncomfortable that his arms were slowly coming down. I know that you cherish your band, your work, and the members. I understand that. I even know that even though he loves them, he's taking it out on them. Also, I know that he's regretting his attitude, too. I looked up at Akito quietly and touched his chest. Those feelings are also sentimental and frustrating, isn't it? Even if it's not about love, those are also included. And that's it. This feeling... Akito grabbed his fist in front of his chest. Akito? When I smile, Akito starts taking a pen again. This time, he didn't seem confused like earlier. He's trying to sketch the feelings that are overflown inside of him. And that's true, because you could write a song about your friends and wanting to take care of them and cherish them and protect them. And as long as you're not like, Yo, bro, it's going to be you and me till the end of time. Bros before hoes. As long as you're not like specific like that, you know? Um, and you're just writing about... <laughs> People can infer and be like, oh my god, it's a beautiful love song. You're like, you know, like everybody thinks about Mandy. Like, oh, Mary Mandela's song, Mandy is so beautiful. It's about a dog. It's about a fucking dog, okay? You know what I mean? Like, you read into lyrics. Because he never specifically mentions, like, like, oh, I used to play fetch with you in the yard. You know, he's not specifically, like, 
the way it's written, you could be like, oh, it's a beautiful love bug about a man and a woman. No, well, dog, but okay. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being subtle with your lyrics. Anyway, phew. I hope I was able to help a little. I decided to organize the papers in the ne next door so I wouldn't be in the way of Akita working. <laughs> all right. We're a little bit behind now because we didn't finish chapter nine like I anticipated because that's we had a long tangent about straws and I don't understand why they didn't take me to the aquarium. It's just, it just I've always wanted to go and then they went without me. It's so rude, you know. But <laughs> oh, and stalking celebrities and how that's just like. But, like, celebrities having a girlfriend is totally wrong in Japan. But, like, we're, like, we fucking stalk ours. Like, I mean, it's weird. But anyway. So we had a lot of tangents today, but that's okay. We'll finish Chapter 9 in the next part. And hopefully that missing choice in Chapter 8 doesn't fuck us up. Otherwise, we're going to think the normal ending first. But, yeah. So. We'll just have to start. We'll have to save before that point. You know what I mean? Like, skip through everything, get that, and then we'll just get our good ending last. We'll see what happens, but... There's only one choice, but I don't know how this game is weighted. Is it like you mess up anything and you're fucked, or... So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up, and subscribe to see more!